this video I'm going to be testing the latest version of the EB Mods power plate. This latest version is the result of 12 prototypes tested on the dyno for proven results. First up is some straightaway speed testing. We use controlled starting and stopping points for this. The EV power plate consistently showed 1 to 2 mile an hour faster than the OS stock back plate. Next up, using a red bar as the starting point, I kept moving it closer to the takeoff until I found the minimum distance where my car struggled to clear this double. I then used that same starting distance bar to run the EV power plate. With the EB power plate, I get a little bit more pop. I still clip this jump just a little bit, but it doesn't disrupt the car as badly. My car jumps a couple inches further. And last up is runtime testing. I use two large displacement blocks in my tank. I was ready to tune with the EB power plate when I came from the OS stock plate, but zero tuning was needed. I didn't touch the needles at all. I got lucky with two exact times for the power plate tanks. I got a little deviation from the OS backplate tanks, but this shows a little bit better runtime with the EV power plate. My favorite feature about the backplate that's hard to pick up on video is the faster return to idle from higher speed poles. It makes the OS feel more accurate. This track I'm running at is the Nitro compound in Maricopa, Arizona.